Well, hello, and welcome to the next edition of Thursday Thoughts. Today is, oh no, did this just happen? I was recently in an automobile accident, and I have injuries which are causing pain. I'm wondering how much longer will I be in pain? What is the next, next step for taking care of me? When will I be back to what I was before the accident? I even found myself crying and asking how much more pain and suffering can I take? The pain makes it difficult to sleep, conduct my daily activities, and takes away from the enjoyment of my life. And I realized that the pain and my questions are the same ones I asked myself when my two children died. I also realized the answers are the same. We do not know how long we will feel the pain of loss. It may linger like a constant gnawing sore that festers or may heal with just a tiny scar. <clears throat> it may flare up for no apparent reason or might even find that you do not think about the pain and the loss every day. I suggest that you be an advocate for yourself. Get help in your grief, just like I am working with a doctor for my injuries. Work with those that help you both in grief and physical healing. This is a journey and it never ends. It goes and goes and goes. So learn some things that will help you when the things get tough. There is a before and after normal. No matter how hard you wish, pray or barter with God, your loved one has died. Accepting the loss is the first step in your healing. Now, not to say that you like it. Most of us don't. We just don't. But we need to create a new normal. And creating that normal is just that. It is a new normal. You can either choose to heal or live with a broken heart. And I will dig deep to make it through this pain. I can tap into the strength I never knew I had and let it rise to serve me once again in time of need. If you've never had to find that inner courage before, if you look hard enough, you will find it. I want a good night's sleep. I want to run again. I want to feel healthy. And I look forward to the days of no pain much like the loss and the pain I've experienced with that. There's a quote that really resonates in this situation. It's by Bob Marley. You never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. So today, I encourage you to be strong. Be strong for yourself, for you are the only one who can help you. I believe you can learn to live with your grief and find joy. You deserve it. I care. I understand. <laughs>